Hey guys, I am back with another keto ice cream for you. Today is gonna to be a very simple chocolate ice cream and it's so good and so creamy, you're gonna to wanna to make it all the time. Now it does require an ice cream maker and I will put in the description box below a link to the very specific ice cream maker I make as well as the storage containers that I use to store the ice cream once it's made. Now, the other things I'm gonna show you in this video, because sometimes I take for granted that people just know how to do certain things. The first one is how to divide an egg, how to separate the yolk from the white of the egg. And for anybody that knows how to do this, they're probably thinking, okay, that's, that's stupid easy. Of course I know how to do this. But fun fact, I didn't know how to do that until maybe seven years ago. So I was well into my 30s, ooching on 40 before I even knew how to divide an egg by hand. So I don't, want, I don't want to take for granted that you know how to do that. So we're gonna do a quick little tutorial on that. The other thing I'm gonna show you is this recipe does call for Baker's chocolate. With that, it's a big solid block of chocolate and the recipe calls for, for you to chop it. I don't know about you, but the first time I had instructions to use chopped Baker's chocolate, I pulled out the knife, I started chopping, it took forever, there were chocolate bits flying everywhere, and I thought there's gotta be a better better way to do this, and there is, so I'm gonna show you that too. But before we get to the small tutorials and the recipe, let's go check out those ingredients. All right, the first thing you want to do before you even start your ice cream recipe is you want to prepare an ice bath. And that is simply one bowl filled with ice water and another bowl on top. Because once you're done cooking the custard base of your ice cream, you're gonna to need to chill it pretty quickly so you can get it in the fridge for a couple hours and then you can turn it after that. The ingredients are very simple. This is a custard based ice cream, so it's gonna take four eggs. We're gonna have two cups of heavy cream, one cup of almond milk, about half a cup of swerve sweetener. I prefer the powdered sweetener, but granulated also works a third cup of cocoa powder, and two ounces of Baker's chocolate. Now once the ice cream is done chilling in the fridge, you're gonna bring it back out and you're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of clear stevia, or I also sometimes use the vanilla cream stevia, which is really good. And to the amusement of my entire family, a couple of tablespoons of vodka. You're not even gonna taste it, but it is gonna help the ice cream from icing up too much. Before we get to making the ice cream, I want to show you those two little quick tutorials. The first one, how to split an egg, how to divide the egg between the yolk and the white, and how to break up two ounces of this bar of chocolate. All right, to crack the egg, you need two bowls because you wanna separate it. And the first thing you wanna do is just try to get kind of a clean break on the side. And then once you do that, you're gonna gently split the egg open and you're just gonna kind of roll the yolk back and forth between the two halves as the whites of the egg spill out. And once that's done, you have a single egg yolk. Now the chocolate I'm using in this recipe is just a Baker's chocolate and it's actually called, that's the less the brand, Baker's chocolate. I prefer the Ghirardelli Baker's chocolate, but this is what I had on hand. So this entire bar is four ounces, and so I'm gonna start out by just splitting the bar in half because I don't need all of it. Now beyond that, I'm gonna take this bar and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in this Ziploc baggie and seal it up. And while it's in the bag, then I will proceed with breaking it up just a little bit more. They are scored, so you can get a little bit of the upfront breaking done by hand. But again, I need it way smaller pieces than that to go in so it can melt quickly in the custard mix. And to do that, let me show you. It's where the rolling pin comes in. It's gonna scare your animals, send your family outside, and have your neighbors questioning what in the world is going on in your household. But it's effective, and if you need to let out a little bit of regression, it's also therapeutic. It is a portable stove top, which is going to make making these videos so much easier for you guys. Uh, better angles than you trying to watch me out my backside cooking on the stove or just doing the overhead videos. Um, if you're interested in this, I'll definitely put a link to this in the description box below. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's really fun. So to start the ice cream, you're going to want to heat this up to about medium low. Now on my stove top, which seemed to cook much cooler, I had to knock it up all the way to medium for it to get warm enough and cook without taking five hours. But this seems to cook a little bit hotter than my stove, so if you buy one of these, definitely be cautious 
that it could burn or heat differently than your stove. Okay, so we're gonna start out with two cups of heavy cream, one cup of almond milk. Cashew milk would also work very nicely in this. We're gonna do half a cup of swerve sweetener and one third cup of cocoa powder. Now what you wanna do is you wanna use a food thermometer or a candy thermometer and you want to get this mixture up to about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you go along, you're heating, watching this, and stirring, make sure everything stays well combined. All right guys, we'll come back once this is ready to move on to the next step. Okay, we're done. That actually happened a little quicker than I would like to see happen. So again, still trying to figure out this uh, portable stove top off of my own, uh, very new. So I'm actually gonna bump this down to two, which is more of a medium low. I'm gonna take one cup of this liquid and pour it out into just a measuring cup so I know where one cup is. And I'm gonna set this to the side for a moment. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour one cup of this and use it to temper the egg yolks that I showed you how to divide earlier because we don't want the eggs to get scrambled and this is very hot liquid. I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm just gonna start whisking the eggs pretty vigorously as I slowly pour this in so that I'm tempering the eggs, slowly bringing them up to temperature, but keeping them in their liquid form. And now I'm gonna kind of reverse this process. I'm gonna grab my pan again, and I'm gonna slowly do the opposite and pour this back into the pot as I am whisking away. And now I'm going to turn this back on and I want it to get up to roughly 180 degrees Fahrenheit this time before I pull it off the heat again. So again, this is just, we're gonna continue cooking this just for a few more minutes to get the heat back up. And it's not gonna take long because it was already pretty hot. And we're there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this off the burner, set it aside, and make sure your burner's off, and the chopped chocolate that we pounded earlier, just gonna put that in there and we're gonna let it sit for one minute let it get good and melty and then we will continue. Okay, finally, once your minute or two is up, you're simply gonna whisk all that chocolate goodness, make sure it's fully incorporated. And it should, if you've got enough, if you've got the pieces chopped up small enough, um, then it should melt very quickly. And once that's done, here we have our ice bath. I'm simply going to pour this in here. And again, this is gonna quick cool the custard so I can get it into the fridge here soon. I'm gonna let it sit here for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out of the ice bath, wrap it in saran wrap, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for about three hours. So when we come back here in three hours, we're gonna bring out the ice cream maker, we're gonna turn the ice cream, and then it is either ready to eat as a soft serve or we can wait for it to harden for a more hard ice cream. All right guys, I will see you in a few hours. And we're back. This has been sitting in the refrigerator for three hours now with this plastic wrap, and now we are ready to finish up the final ingredient and churn it. So this right here is my Cuisinart ice cream bowl. It has a freeze bowl, which is always in my freezer until I need it, and it's really great to use because it's super easy to clean up and you do not have to deal with the rock salt, which just makes a big old mess. So okay, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of vodka. We're gonna put in about half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then I actually decided to go with my chocolate stevia. I know I said clear or vanilla cream stevia before, but I forgot that I had the chocolate stevia. So just for a little extra chocolatey taste, we're gonna put about another half teaspoon of that in there. And I'm gonna whisk this up and get all that really incorporated. And then the last thing I'm gonna add, which I actually forgot to mention earlier to do too, is a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And that's also kind of like the vodka, it's going to work as a non-icing agent and it's also going to help bind the ice cream really well. So with this, you just want to sprinkle this in and then you really want to get that mixed in really well. So mix it vigorously. Alright, that's looking good. Now it's all there is left to do is we are going to turn this on. I'm going to pour this in here and let it run for about 20 minutes. I usually start checking it at about 15 minutes because Depending on the day, it can run anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes to really get it to the consistency that I'm looking for. But we'll put it in right now and we will come back once it's done. 
All right, we are back. It's been 20 minutes and the ice cream is definitely ready. You can see how nice and thick and creamy it is. And right now it's about the consistency of soft serve. Uh, so it's definitely, it's ready to eat right now, but we're still, I'll put it in the fridge for the next three hours or so, let it harden up some, and then we'll uh, have this as an after dinner snack. And now I'm just gonna start scooping it into my ice cream storage container. And again, I will link in the description box below the, uh, where you can find these on Amazon. They are great. And these storage containers are the perfect size for the amount of ice cream that you can make in this Cuisinart ice cream maker. And just smooth it out. This makes, depending on whose recipe you're looking at, they would say this is about eight servings. Um, but my family calls it six because if you divide this in eight ways, it's not enough ice cream. So this is for my family, it's about six servings. So we have three people in the household, so we'll get ice cream for the next two nights, and it's really good. But of course, I can't put it in the freezer without taste testing it first. Mmm wonderfully chocolatey. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want other ice cream flavors, I know, Marilyn, I know you requested coconut. It's still on my list to make. I'm kind of researching the best way to make coconut ice cream right now, but that one is definitely gonna come up. And so if there's any other recipes you guys would like to see, make sure you comment below. Let me know what those are. And then also don't forget to check out my recipe for the vanilla ice cream and the almond butter ice cream. All right guys, you have a nice day and I will see you on the next video.